First, I'd like to applaud each of the speakers who have stood at this podium. While I may not concur with each speaker's comments, I believe that meetings like this give real meaning to the phrase, we the people. We the people fully engage in decision making that impacts the public. I've heard speakers approach you and say, I live and give a particular neighborhood. I'll first say that I live in the United States and that I'm from Brooklyn. I have a set of prepared remarks that will go into the record, and if you can't wait for those remarks, then please, if you have pen and paper in hand, write my name, Dan Durrett, D-U-R-E-T-T, -E and for those with a laptop, put that into Google and you'll have more information about my background. I have stood in many cities and many countries to talk about environmental justice, to talk about conservation, to talk about fish hatcheries, to talk about our forests, lakes, and streams. But this meeting here today is quite important. It is important because several speakers have, and you're drawing, the advantage of uh, speaking sort of towards the end of these kind of meetings as it gives you a chance to hear the perspectives of others. It also puts the onus on you to sort of change your presentation a little. But I'm just really interested in the impact on communities. As director of the African American Environmental Association's New York office, this organization is dedicated to protecting the environment enhancing human, animal, and plant ecologies, and promoting, yes, the <coughs> use of natural resources. As an African-American perspective in these deliberations today, I proudly stand and ask and request that the license be renewed. Several speakers before me have alluded to 9-11. I did not know we were here to speak about 9-11, but since you gave me that entree, and because someone else cautioned me about using statistics, I'll not use statistics. I will talk about a community in Brooklyn. Some of my younger brothers and sisters in the audience may know Jay-Z, and know the building and the Marcy projects that he speaks of. When I stand before audiences, I say I am the Jay-Z, of environmental justice in the United States. I grew up on the first floor, he grew up on the sixth floor. My mother still lives in that building, as does the mother of Captain Vernon Richards, who on his day off went to the towers, assisting others so that they may breathe one more day. And he gave his life for that cause. And yes, I may have to tell you what's in my wallet as one of the speakers before me asked. And let me just say, there's not enough in my wallet. There's very little. There's enough gas to get back to Brooklyn, and that's about it. So let's put that out on the table. I'm asking for the renewal of this license because I am concerned about those communities of color that are downstream who, if this plant is closed, we'll see a firing up of power plants that will adversely impact their health. And yes, again, I will stay away from statistics. Bringing the environmental justice perspective into these proceedings is new. We are being engaged at the front end, participating in this forum and in others. As partners, fully credited, and realizing that, our, that we are not participating after the fact of decision making, but we are standing here, voices raised, presence noted, that we intend to be part of We the People when these kinds of focusing meetings are taking place. You see, because in Brooklyn, 
in any community that you will want to name, there are always hard decisions to be made. One of those hard decisions that has to be made in the coming year has been presented most eloquently by others who have stood in front of you. What I am asking is that you consider in this process the impact of the closure on communities in Brooklyn, in Queens, in Jersey, and all the counties of New York. And yes, my brother gave me a good opening, be wary of statistics. One of the statistics I would like you to know is that with this phone, I reach out to a thousand members of our organization. And with this phone, I must call my mother in one year from now, 80 years old, and if this plan is not renewed, I must tell my mother why it was not renewed and why she will have difficulty breathing. If you are against this licensing, then here, please use my phone. Thank you for your time, your attention, and your patience.